As you can see here, we found a pretty large deer, and this deer was laying in a um, on private property. Um, we found him the evening before opening day, and uh, we wanted to pursue this deer, so we decided to go and knock on the landowner's uh, door, and to our surprise, he actually let us hunt. So we were pretty excited. Um, going to jump right into it because we don't really have any videos leading up to it, but uh, the next day we found him right off the side of the road and he took off into the hills on the public and we chased him for a solid five miles and put about a long five hour stock on him, um, which we were very unprepared for, but here, here's where it ties in. Okay, guys, he freaking is, we're pretty sure he's dead. Grab your rifle that's not loaded because we have no <laughs> bullets left. We used all of them, which we only grabbed a handful. We were only expecting a quick, quick jog from the truck, and we parked clear at, like, the base of that hill way over there. You can see the truck's moving way over there. That's how far we hiked in after him. Okay. I don't know if I can do it. He's not breathing. I'm so... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy, he still got half of his velvet on there. He has a little body. He does have a little body. Maybe that's what makes him deceiving. Go walk up and touch his eyeball. Dude, that is the coolest set of horns I think I've ever seen. Definitely shot him in the leg. Oh yeah, that's what ended up doing him in. Can I just poke his body? Po poke his eye. Oh, yeah, he's got green mouth. <laughs> Let's go! Grace and her giant. We just got our butt saved by Kyle and his wife. They brought the truck to the top of the hill, otherwise, we would have had to go wait. Big one is not typical. Hers has stickers too. Boy. Oh, yeah. 